God is at his best when things appear the worst. Adam and Eve were hiding in shame when the Lord God comes looking for them with the promise of a Savior. Abraham is ready to plunge the knife into his only son when God provides a male lamb to sacrifice to save Isaac. Pharaoh's army behind them, mountains to the left and to the right, the sea in front of them. What is Israel to do? but trust in God to provide a way through the sea to save his people. Three men thrown into a furnace to burn to death, but a fourth shows up to save them. Daniel is with the lions overnight, and yet God binds their mouths so that he is saved. See, God is at his best when things appear to be their worst. Look at Jesus on the cross. He's been beaten flogged, bloody, swollen, flesh ripped open, muscles hanging barely attached, bones most likely were visible, nails in his hands and his feet, struggling to breathe, exhausted, abandoned by every family and friend, alone. That's the physical worst. My God, My God, why have you forsaken me? That's the worst of the worst. Laden with sin, my sin, your sin, the sin of the world. From Adam to the end of history, he who knew no sin became sin for you. Nothing could be worse. And yet we call the day Good Friday. God is at his best when things appear the worst. We preach Jesus Christ and him crucified, not because the worstest, most awfulest thing in all of history, but because when it looks like Jesus has lost, when it looks like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, he has won and you are saved. To save you, Jesus could not save himself from death on the cross, but he stayed for you. When the sun stops shining, when the earthquakes and the tombs break open, in other words, when it looks like all of creation is going to come unraveled, God is at his best, saving you, saving the world by the death of Jesus. When it seems like your world, your, your life just can't get any worse, look to Jesus. There is God's best for you. There is your Savior dying for you. In him, you have forgiveness, life, and salvation. That's the best from God for you.